Well, you're talking about multi-drug resistant tuberculosis. I think the latest data from the WHO last week shows that it's actually, the numbers are actually rising. What we estimate now, it used to be 450,000, now we think it's 480,000 cases. And the problem is, is that only 20% of these people even know they have MDR-TB. The basic thing that has to be done, you have to treat the cases so you don't spread. But the other thing is that you have to make the program, you have to improve your tuber tuberculosis program so you're not making these cases of MDR-TB. Because we have very effective drugs. If you, if you take the drugs, uh, you can get cured. But the problem is, is getting people to take six months of medications when they start to feel well after two weeks makes it very difficult. So what's the union's role in all this? The union is really, uh, I think, at the forefront of treatment of MDR-TB. We just did a nine country West African study to shorten the regimen for MDR-TB from the 24-month standard regimen to nine months. And it was because of the work of the union, along with other colleagues in, uh, uh, with MSF, for example, that actually made the World Health Organization say, oh, we've got to change this regimen to this, to this uh, shortened one. And so they uh, announced that in April of 2016. In addition to that, we provide a lot of courses on MDR-TB. We provide technical assistance on MDR-TB, and we do research, both at the very highest standard, what we call a randomized clinical trial, to say, is this regimen working? But we also do these operational, uh, operational studies. So we're really, we cover the waterfront in terms of MDR-TB. What the problem is, is that people don't want to deal with what they consider the unsexy parts of the TB program, and that's, and that's really making sure that people take their medications, uh, uh, from the start so they don't develop the MDR-TB. When you have an MDR-TB uh, crisis, it, it makes complications of medications. The drugs are more toxic, so you have side effects, uh, and it makes it, in the, and the treatment up to now has been longer, and it makes it much, much more difficult for countries who are dealing with the rest of their tuberculosis program to actually have to deal with this cohort of patients who are even more sick. The global community is now aware of the problem. We're trying to develop new medications. We're trying to put more of an emphasis on infection control. The worst thing you can do in tuberculosis is add one new drug to a failing regimen. So what you have to have is a good regimen of drugs. And to protect those drugs, we want to make sure that, they, that patients are able to take all their medications in a, in a way that's supervised. And the union was instrumental in developing what used to be called the DOT strategy. It's been incorporated into the NTB strategy. But I think that it's very, it's very important that we actually support the patient through care, all the care. It's not just putting medicine, giving medicines and going away. You have to deal with the social aspects, sometimes even food, uh, all, those, all those aspects to make sure that uh, they take their treatment.